One thing about me is that I low-key am a die-hard Pinterest girly. <laughs> I'm saving new nail inspo here every single day. And as you can see, I tend to like more of the Korean and Japanese nail art. That means there's a lot of chrome, color, and 3D. This is the inspo I'm choosing, but there's another variation of this set somewhere in this board. Let me just try to look for it. Ah, right here, okay. This is the one I'm following in this tutorial. Usually my nails never turn out exactly like the photo I choose. If I feel like something is too hard or I don't have the right color, then I'll just freestyle. Here are some of the many things you'll need, like this nail lamp that pretty much everyone I see online uses. And then I'm gathering all the colors I'm gonna need for this set. All the sets I do pretty much follow a palette of three to five different colors. You'll definitely need lint-free wipes and alcohol if you're going to start doing your own nails. I prepped and shaped my nails before filming. Without proper and thorough prep, your nails won't look as good and they won't last as long. Since we are dealing with UV lights, we need protection and I'm using sunscreen instead of gloves like some people use because I find them annoying and sunscreen is just much more comfortable. Before applying anything to the nail plate, you want to make sure that they're dry, oil-free, and free of dust so we have a very, very clean slate and the gel will adhere better. Now we're going in with the base coat and I really have been loving this one from Model Ones. Also anything I use or mention in this video will be linked below in my Amazon storefront. That's where I keep all of my nail links. I always start with the basics first. So I'm starting with a simple black polish on my pinky and I'm just using my nails to wipe off the polish I got on my skin. Now I'm going in with this milky white color and then curing for 60 seconds. I'm topping it off with a second coat to make it a little bit more finished looking and I'm sealing the edges with quick swipes to lock everything in. Now for the fun part, this clear coat is called blooming gel. It's kind of like a base coat that has this blooming effect. It disperses the polish that you put on top of it. And I'm using it just to give this abstract effect, almost tie-dye-like effect to the brown color. Give it a few seconds to do its thing and then cure. I'm adding a little bit more of the brown to make it darker in certain areas. And then I'm taking a top coat to kind of blend everything together with the brush. Now we're using the silver metallic color to create these squiggly lines around my finger. You're really just as good as your tools, so these fine tip brushes are key. You wanna cure so we don't ruin the artwork and then go in for that second inner ring. glass palette to put some colors on when I'm working with more than one. I'm drawing a black line and this is one of those things where the inspo pick was too hard so I got impatient. <laughs> I imagined this green stroke to come out differently but it's fine because we're gonna cover it. Here comes the 3D part. I'm using this rhinestone glue from Beatles and I'm just mixing it in with this army green color to create a green 3D gel. And now we're building our blob. I love blobs. <laughs> no, seriously, blobs are considered cool in the 3D nail art world. At least the one I'm in. The bigger the blob, the better. And now I'm using the gel by itself to create a clear blob over the black line. And again, patience is a virtue here. You wanna build slowly. I will say this product creates very bad heat spike, which is that burning sensation under the lamp. I'll list better alternatives for 3D art, but this one, honestly, it just hurts every time. So that's why I pulled my hand out. Moving on to the index finger, I can't really tell what's going on in the inspo photos. So I'm just freestyling these abstract black lines.
and then I'm taking a white polish and I'm creating this backwards J shape on top of the design. And I'm making my white line a little bit thicker than the black lines because I'm going to go over the white line with some 3D gel. And I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I'm trying to make my lines and edges clean. And using the same rhinestone glue, I'm just following the line to build a little 3D shape on top of it. And then you want to cure for 60 seconds. Again, beware of the heat spike. And last but not least, we have the thumb with this ombre situation. I struggled the most with this nail because I wasn't sure how to blend it the right way, but I ended up using one of my brushes to just make small strokes between the two colors. And eventually it all kind of came together. It looks a little choppy, but I also feel like that's a vibe. The pinky was looking a little bare so i decided to put one of my silver star stickers on i actually got the sticker set from yes dial yes Style has a lot of cute nail stickers we've reached the end seal everything with a generous layer of top coats i'm using model ones here again when you're applying top coat to 3d nail art make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies so that you don't miss a single spot and then the final cure. This is the finish line. It's the most rewarding part of doing your own nails. And now you can enjoy all of your hard work and show off your new nails. My friends always ask how I do my right hand using my left hand, which is my non-dominant hand. And honestly, I really think it just comes down to practice. I've been doing my nails for basically my entire life, so I'm pretty comfortable with it, but if you're new to doing your own nails, this will definitely take some patience and practice. For my second hand, I pretty much use the same designs in different variations and on different fingers. I think it's really cool when you can mix and match your nails. This right here is one of my favorite cuticle oils that a viewer actually gave to me when I had a little meetup in Korea earlier this year. It does such a good job of moisturizing your cuticles without feeling so oily. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching along and I'll see you in the next one.